In this video, we're going to learn how to learn about the inventory screen. Now, you've heard that most of the inventory entry in rows happens via the taken module, um, and that's because uh, most of our uh, um, inventory is is created in batches uh, via consigner. So they bring in 50 items. We're creating 50. Um, uh, inventory items. We do that through the taken module. It simplifies the process, allows us to track and account for uh, those uh, taken orders as they come in the door and hit the floor. Um, so that's why the taken module is so important. So the inventory screen is mostly where we want to fix something, change something, reprint something um, about a particular inventory item. We do it from the inventory screen. So let's go to the hamburger menu at the top left and click on inventory. Now, um, let's say we need to, let's see, we need to reprint a tag. Tag got torn off or lost, we're gonna reprint. So we're gonna search for Nike. We have two Nike items in here. Um, in this case, they were both created by me um, for, de for demo purposes. So we're gonna click the one that's 1498 and we're gonna click this little print, the little label button here. And now we can reprint that label. Um, let's say we didn't, uh, we wanted to fix the price in it. We're going to hit the little arrow here and we can change the description. We can change the price, pretty much change anything in the screen. So let's change the price uh, on this to $11.99. Hit save and close. We're going to hit that label button again and reprint that label. Um, let's say we assign something to the wrong consigner. We just fixed that one, eleven ninety nine. We just fixed that one, so we're going to click on this one here, and I'm actually going to change this to my programmer uh, fill. So um, I mistakenly um, added an item to to the wrong consigner, so I can go in here and I can fix that through this screen. So we've got that. That's, everything else is going to stay the same, so we're going to hit save and close. And now we're going to go and reprint that label again. So now you can see the account numbers changed. Um, everything else stayed the same. So we pr reprint that label, affix it to the item, and we're good to go. Now that's the bulk of the use of the inventory screen. You can create inventory here by hitting the Create Inventory button. And you're just going to create one inventory item at a time. And you're going to enter the uh, uh, co contract number one item at a time. So one, you know, one-off entries or you missed an item in an order, this would be a good place to do that. Um, but if it's, you know, multiple items, that's where that um, taken module um, is its you know, has its value and it's also trackable. Um, so you always have a record of the taken um, if you do it from the taken screen. Um, if we need to locate an item, so maybe we have a SKU number um, and actually let's find a SKU here. I'm just gonna hit enter and it's going to show me all of the items that are in here. Let's highlight that one. To locate an item would be, we want to find out where, where is this item at in our inventory. Um, so we're going to click search. And it's going to show it's currently in inventory. Now let's say it's um, been sold. Well, if we go into the inventory screen and just search for something, and we don't find it in there, um, that's because it could have sold. So the locate item is where you want to, you know, you can't find something in the normal inventory search results. So if you hit locate, this will tell you it's sold, it's been paid, it'll say it's still within a sales batch. Um, so this just gives you a, a really drills down to where where the item is in, um, in rows. So that's where the locate item function comes into, um, into use is, um, you can't find it in the normal inventory screen. Where is it? Well, it could be it could be in the inventory history file, could be sold. Um, that's where locate item comes into uh, use. Um, so that is the inventory screen in rows.